How's it going guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Callum X and today we're going to be going through the solo talent tree now that the game is out in full. Now you may or may not know I've already done a video on the solo talent tree. However, that was in the beta weekends and obviously a few things have changed now and the game is out in full. So we're going to go through it properly. If you want more Icarus content, don't forget to subscribe and of course thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any opinions on any of these perks, by the way. I want you guys to know that this is a community channel, okay? This isn't me and only me and my opinions only. I want this to be a place where we can all come together. We can all share our ideas and experiences, etc., in the game so that we can all become better players based on that knowledge. So feel free to comment underneath whether you think I'm wrong or if you have any great ideas. Anyway, with all that out the way, we're going to go straight into the talent tree. Now, first of all, you're probably wondering how many points you actually need to unlock the whole thing. Uh, that is 25. You're going to need 25 talent points to unlock the entire solo tree. And a couple of things before we get into what's actually on it that you uh, you should know. First of all, the solo talent tree is for when you play on your own. That is, if you are playing with a team, none of these perks will work. All right? So you really, really do need to bear that in mind before you start delving down this tree. Because if you just decide to take a few of these perks because they sound good, but you're playing with your friends none of them will work, okay? So you need to make sure that you have a special solo character and that character is the one that you unlock the solo tree. It's also important to remember that this tree is designed to create a very balanced player, not a dedicated player. So if you unlock everything on this tree for the 25 points, you're going to end up with a very well-rounded player. Your character is going to be well-rounded. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the, the regeneration is going to be reasonably good. Your stamina is going to be reasonably good. Your harvesting is going to be reasonably good. Your health is going to be reasonably good, etc. But you're not going to be specialized in any one thing. But luckily, it only takes 25 points, which leaves you 23 points to spend on other talents, which of course can mean you can be a little bit more specialized. So you can go down this solo talent tree, unlock everything, and then maybe you think, oh, actually... I like hunting. I want to go down the combat tree so you can have your well-rounded player in the solo tree and then go down the combat one afterwards. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty much all that aside for a minute. I'm going to have a look at everything. Now, we're going to unlock everything. So I'm going to show you exactly how many points. This is going to cost 25 points. Then let's unlock everything. I am, of course, using the Icarus talent tool right now, which is amazing. I've done a video on that the other day. If you're wondering, I'll link it somewhere. Um, absolutely fantastic tool. Uh, so anyway, so there we go. So we've unlocked the whole thing. It's cost us 25 talent points. We've got 23 talent points left in the top corner up here. Uh, and let's just have a look at everything that it gives you. So increased uh, base health, you're going to get up to 100. You've got your maximum stamina up to 50 points extra and 10% extra movement speed as well, 5 and 10%. These stack, by the way, these stack with other perks. So if you have other perks or if you buy any of the add-ons from the workshop to go into your suit, the, to fill the suit slots, the modules, for example, then you can stack them. So technically speaking, right, you could go into the workshop, you could buy two of the speed modules to go into your suit and that would give you twice because they stack as well. So that would be plus 10 on your speed or plus 10% on your speed. And then you could do this, which gives you another 10. So you can stack these up and you can become pretty speedy, um, especially. So that's worth remembering too. Everything stacks, all right? So like I said, so we've got 100 maximum health, 50 maximum stamina, 10% maximum movement speed. This also then gives you 25% uh, extra physical resistance. You're going to be able to resist attacks and the weather etc although exposure is mainly for the weather but uh, you got lightning recovery so your stamina will regenerate 20 percent faster again that comes in increments so it's 10 then 20 you have 20 percent extra health regeneration i'm going to leave these ones for in a minute you are 15 percent more stealthy okay so but oh my god it's warm in here 15% more stealthy, which means that the creatures, the wolves, the bears, the polar bears, they are the cougars. They're going to have a harder time seeing you. So that one's obviously a good one. 
Decreased oxygen, hunger, and thirst costs. Again, this is where the solo talent tree is different from the other talent trees because this one is just all round food, water, and oxygen. Whereas on the other trees, you're going to have to lock those individually, unlock them individually. Increased wood, stone, and fiber yield. So you get an extra 15% yield from trees, mining, and harvesting. Uh, minus 20% carry weight on wood, stone, and ores. Again, you can see why this is this builds you into a well-rounded player for solo gaming only, and you can see why it would be incredibly OP if they opened it up so solo talent tree worked when you were playing with your friends because you could unlock this, and you, are, you essentially, you're bypassing so many abilities that you would have to unlock using the other talent trees um, by by essentially doing these well-rounded ones. So you can see why it is specific for solo players only. I do think it should be more well-documented and it should be a lot more obvious of the fact because I know of quite a few people who've gone down the solo talent tree when they haven't actually known or noticed that it wasn't gonna, they weren't going to be useful when they were playing with the team. So I do think maybe they need to make that a bit more obvious. But there you go. So you're going to be able to carry more stuff you are going to get more yield from trees mining and harvesting. You also get extra meat and bone harvested fit by 50%. Uh, you also get 10% extra experience, which obviously is useful. Again, it says when not in a party. Remember, this is when you're on your own. Then lastly, you get 30% carry weight. So extra carry weight. You can carry 30% more building pieces. Uh, you got extra 25% weight capacity too. So if you combine those two, you can see how you can carry a whole bunch more stuff without getting over encumbered. 50% increased leather and fur harvested uh, to go with the meat and bone. I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent there. But you can, you can see basically how this tree is going to create you this very well-rounded base player. Um, so there we go. These two are the last two, which I think are quite cool. Uh, I definitely do like these two because one of them is Blueprint Boost, gives three extra Blueprint points. And then Blueprint Boost 2 gives you another three. So you get an extra six Blueprint points as well. So if you couple that with the fact that you can now make it to level 99, solo players who at least unlock these two are going to be able to get an extra six Blueprints on top of all the other Blueprints that they get. Now... I think by the time you hit level 99, chances are you'd be able to learn everything that you want. Like, that you're not probably going to be thinking, oh my god, I wish I had more blueprint points so I could learn that thatch ceiling. Like, chances are, if you've made it to level 99, you've probably got everything you need. But it's just worth noting. And particularly early on in the game, you might need these two if you're playing solo. So that, that could be particularly useful, um, especially early, early game. But it's worth noting that in order to get these, you actually need to, if I reset this tree real quick, you'll see I can unlock Blueprint Boost straight away. Okay, so my first talent point, boom. There we go. I can unlock Blueprint Boost. But in order to get the second one, to get those next three Blueprint points, I'm going to need to level up my solo tree. So I'm going to need to unlock another one, two, three. So I need to spend another three talent points on this solo tree before I can unlock that second Blueprint Boost. So it's going to, in total, cost you five talent points to be able to get those extra six blueprints if that's something that's important to you. I think, again, these, these talent trees is why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's going to be really good to see what kind of thing you guys uh, unlock, um, what characters, what kind of characters you are trying to build down in the comments because this is very, very subjective. This, this, these talent trees are 100% based on how you play the game. And you can adapt it to how you play the game. But the most important things to take away from this are the fact that you can only use this stuff when you're playing solo. You cannot use the solo talent tree. Everything you've learned on this character using the solo talent, talent tree, you can't play with your friends. And that if you want these extra blueprint points, it's going to cost you five points in total. You will have 23 left. As I say, I'll unlock them all again. You will have 23 left to spend on other things. There we go. So we've got... Why well, have I got 26 talent points left? Oh, 
Didn't unlock the top ones. There we go. So you've got 23 talent points left to spend on other things where you can start to become a little bit more specialized. Um, everything stacks again as well. So that's my very quick look at the solo talent tree. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more. I'm going to be going through all of the talent trees looking at all of the different things that you can get so you guys can just kind of listen to it while you're playing instead of having to go through and read it yourselves. But it's the most important thing, I think, is to down in the comments, let us know what things you have experienced, what bugs you've experienced, maybe what 